What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to another brand new tutorial. This is J Voice, and I'm here to show you how to speed up your workflow in Samplitude. This could be Pro X8, Pro X6, or Pro X7, or later fashion. So, uh, firstly, I want to introduce something. Maybe you want to switch from Cubase to Samplitude. So, and uh, you are facing a lot of problem. Maybe you try to. Uh, take down your project up like this and it is switching automatically instead of stacking with the uh instead of stacking with the with the grid line so what you need to do right now is to uh firstly uh, get the grid line i believe you can see my uh key if i if i can if i press any key i believe you can see it so now we need to we need a grid line we need a guideline firstly you have to know the beat tempo you know if you want to record anything on fl studio you have to know the tempo so for you to know the tempo of the beat you're working on first thing you need to do is to right click and go down to remix manager or oh, sorry remix agent so <laughs> So you can see right here it is 115 so this is accurate how do you know it is accurate you need to follow the metronome so let me turn on the metronome in the very high volume you can see it is matching so let me reduce the metronome so you can see now you you've already you know the uh temporary which is 115 so now you have to come down here so if you don't see this area you have to uh go to view and uh go to transpose so and to show you this then you find temple here and you type the temple here which is 115 so let's click on enter and you will say do not adjust the audio because we didn't we just calculated it so now this is done it has been written as we want it so now go back to this view because we need a guideline so a guideline that is going to show us um how do i say it a a guideline just to show us the uh, the line like this you can see the line like this this is the line we're talking about so um let me see if i can see it here but if i can't see it here you've already seen the uh the shortcut key this bracket so the, the bracket i'm pressing so if you press the bracket it will come out so now you can see then later click on here this magnet so it will stick whenever you are trying to drag anything you can see it is uh stopping on the line it is snapping on the line so if i drag it like this i can drag it automatically without having any issue moving it up and down so it will stack to the line automatically so i can stack it to the line so it will snap to it and i can enjoy my record so this is uh tip number one so tip number two you have to press your y key so pressing your y key will bring out this option you have audio setup but we're scrolling down to um what do you say we scroll down to mouse wheel this is where we can make our uh projects or this is how we can work fast on our project so you have to customize all these things for me horizontal zoom I make it on mouse wheel alone so you have to click on it if you want to assign mouse wheel alone click on it and press assign so and it is done then horizontal zoom click on I choose mouse and then the mouse wheel so boom then uh, also the vertical zoom so what I mean by vertical zoom is how this I can zoom it maybe I want to I have work on the project so large so i can screw my mouse like this roll my mouse up roll my mouse down just to enlarge it just to expand the waveform 
so let's go back there and remember once you're done you have to uh, click on assign and okay so that is tip number two then the tip number three is you go to your project option here so instead of you um locking your record maybe you're recording and you you want to be moving them all around and you want to lock them so that it won't shake by mistake so you need you can record them you can then you, you can record them with locked already it, it will be locked if you record the vocal so go to go back to y click on y then uh go to project option then after that you scroll down and choose auto lock recorded object so and that is it if you lock it everything will uh move as it is and then the snap grid you can also select it and um so once you select this you can click save as default so the next time when you open amplitude you don't have to go to the settings and uh whenever you record it for instance let me record something one two um, what recording. i do is what i do so one two i'm um, recording you can see it is already locked so i can move it and it will one two i'm um, recording you can see everything is one two i'm um, recording you can see everything is working fine now you are done with the uh setting you have done with the scrolling and you already know the shortcut now there is another shortcut i want you to know instead of you going down here you know going down here and finding the eq so to do the, to find the eq you press ctrl shift and f this will bring you the eq very fast in the very fast way so then um when you click here instead of you going to main going to plugin and selecting the plugin you can press b and it will bring out your uh plugin then you can um type any plugin you've already installed or pre-install plugin then you like example now i can search for eq and it will bring me out the eq so q3 compressor so it will bring a lot of things out and that's it then um if you want to set up like you want to add boss to it like this instead of you right clicking and selecting the boss maybe you want to add like four bosses like sub bosses here so instead of you adding it to one like maybe you have you want to have like four you have to do it manually one by one so that is no um there is a special way you can do that as well just press your ctrl shift and m so it will bring out this window then you can now see this sub mix maybe the track the number of track you want to add it will be generated here the, uh, and then the sub mix you want to have this is i already have two here and this is two and uh all the things are here so if i make this thing three now you can see this is only a version air punch you will see the boss three at the bottom now you can see now so and if i uh so and if i had anything here like six so you can see this is track five which is for the normal tracks so if i click it you can see there is another track here so new track which it is very useful for us to do when we need it all right so this tutorial won't be longer than this and uh, if you have any um suggestion or any comment or any question please do let me know and uh, remember to subscribe to my channel this is your man j voice once again have a nice day